Canadian authorities have started to target crypto wallets. It's reported that 34 crypto wallets tied to the Freedom Convoy have been blocked. Convoy members had to turn to cryptocurrency after crowdfunding platforms shut off their access to funds when the protests were deemed illegal by Justin Trudeau. Now, crypto exchanges in Canada have received guidance from law enforcement to blacklist addresses related to the protest. What up, vigilantes? Things just get crazier, huh? We thought what was happening in uh, Canada was crazy enough and now we are dealing with a possible world war. Some will say we are already in a world war. My condolences and prayers go out to everyone suffering under tyranny. It really sucks. I'm really sorry. But it seems as if people are starting to wake up regarding crypto more and more each day. And so as a gift from the Crypto Vigilante team to you guys, we have a free issue. And it's in the description right here. You just go to the QR code right here. You'll be able to... Uh, to read a very special issue where we give kind of our secret sauce and what we teach our subscribers to everyone now because things are just that bad. You know, everyone needs this information. People need to know about sound cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrencies that are actually private by default and to know how to properly use crypto Recently, uh, Senator Ted Cruz spoke at CPAC about Bitcoin. So we need to decentralize. We need to break it apart. It's one of the reasons why I am so bullish on crypto, on Bitcoin, because it is decentralized and not controllable. And let me give a fantastic example. So Justin Trudeau. said, I don't like me some truckers. So we're going to seize your assets. So then the court went to try to seize the crypto that was being given to the truckers. And I don't know how many of y'all saw a letter that I actually want to read from. It's a letter from a company, Bitcoin company called Nunchuck. Here's part of the letter. Dear Ontario Superior, Superior Court of Justice, our software is free. We do not collect any user identification information beyond email addresses. We also do not hold any keys. Therefore, we cannot freeze our users' accounts. We cannot prevent them from being moved. We do not have the knowledge of, quote, the existence, nature, value, and location of our users' assets. This is by design. Please look up how self-custody and private keys work. When the Canadian dollar becomes worthless, we will be here to serve you too. <laughs> that is spectacular. By the way, contrast that to the craven, sniveling response of corporate America. When others, when some whiny snowflake tweets at them, they go, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, God bless you saying to the government, go jump in a lake. That's how our country was founded. That is powerful. By the way, that is also why China 
recently banned Bitcoin because they can't control it, which is the exact same reason Elizabeth Warren hates Bitcoin. The Chinese communists and Elizabeth Warren, they both want to control you. Your assets, your savings, your speech, your life, your children, every decision they want to control. And so we need to break up the means of controlling the citizenry. And he was right. He, he was right in that communists hate competition. And communists all over the world, including communists in the United States, want to control every aspect of your life. That is exactly what they want to do. That's all they want to do. Senator Cruz read off a letter from a Bitcoin company where the Bitcoin company was teaching Canadian bureaucrats about custodial and non-custodial wallets. Now it's important to understand one thing guys that you need to be ahead of the game in crypto. BTC, Bitcoin, and any Bitcoin protocol is not private at all. If you are in a position or in a place in the world where you have to run away from tyranny like a 1930s Germany situation, then you kind of don't want to use BTC. You don't want to use Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, BSV. Why? Because these are transparent ledgers. Transparent ledgers with optional privacy. So you have to be very careful because there are a lot of Bitcoiners out there and a lot of quote unquote crypto gurus that lie. They lie to you and they'll tell you that Bitcoin is private. That Bitcoin is private enough. That Ethereum is private. That Bitcoin Cash is private. Even that BSV is private. But if you are in a situation where you really need privacy, you want to stay away from those coins, from those networks, from those transparent protocols, because they are not private. If anything, they are very dangerous. You need to get something like a pirate chain or a Monero, a Wownero, or a Dero. Something that is private by default with optional disclosure if you need it for your business. Optional privacy is no privacy at all. And so we put together this packet for you guys. It's CryptoVigilante.io forward slash convoy. And it will teach you the basics, what you need to know to survive and thrive during and after the dollar collapse with crypto. Now, the problem is that, is that people are so caught up on the thriving that they don't realize that we are in a very serious situation worldwide. We first and foremost have to worry about the surviving because these tyrants are not going to stop. Everything that is happening right now revolves around the banking cartel realizing that they are at their end. That their dominion over finance is over. That crypto is here. Now even in CPAC, you have someone like Senator Ted Cruz talking about Bitcoin openly and openly making the distinction between freedom money and tyranny money.
My question is, why, ne why did he never make the distinction before and call out the Federal Reserve and the shit coin that fiat is? The truth, guys, is, is that lines are being drawn and there, is a, there will be a lot of fake, there will be a lot of controlled opposition and people that you think are our allies, but they really are not. And I've seen this in Bitcoin since day one. Since day one, a lot of big tech got scared of what Bitcoin was capable of. And what they did was that they started usurping libertarian rhetoric to further their agenda. They took over Bitcoin and they lied to people and they still lie to people to this day telling them that Bitcoin is private Bitcoin BTC is not private Bitcoin BTC is a transparent surveillance coin where the miners are constantly open to being audited by governments and governments can pressure miners to censor transactions on the network you don't believe me it has been happening and it will continue to happen a lot of people don't know these things a lot of people think that the lightning network will be their savior and will bring privacy to bitcoin it will not chain analysis just put published a report where they show how they are tracking and tracing everything regarding the lightning network over the vast majority of lightning hubs in the United States are, in at, are, right, are literally outside Washington DC in Virginia where the State Department literally has their home. So in other words, the vast majority of lightning hubs are run by the CIA, but no one talks about that. You guys are all playing within glass houses. You guys are promoting something that is very dangerous for people that truly need help people that truly need real cryptocurrency sound fungible money to escape tyranny everything BTC and Bitcoin cash desire to be is found in pirate chain and Monero I had Howard Shu here on the channel about a year ago and he was under the suspicion that there was price suppression of Monero and you know what I think he's right it's very important for you guys to not keep crypto in exchanges we've told you that over and over throughout the years not your keys not your crypto at the same time if you care about an actual network like Monero you definitely do not want to keep your keys in an exchange you do not want to keep your crypto in an exchange because you don't control the keys so it feels to me like we're back in 2012 and we're talking about the desire for people to truly want to have sound digital money sound digital cash to escape tyranny and the networks that actually offer that are being silenced they're not given the proper air that they deserve but the network that does not offer that and by that I mean BTC that is lauded that is that is something that even big tech is for so it's a big deal guys and it is for that reason that we created the crypto vigilante so that you guys may have a place, may have a home to actually focus on what matters most in crypto.
Privacy coins are here to stay. Arguably, they're the most important aspect in all of crypto because they assure our survival against tyranny. And if you are out there lying to people, telling them that Bitcoin is a privacy coin, know that you're causing a lot of harm. And, you know, part of me is kind of tempted to start calling out people by name, but I don't think that's necessary because the, if you guys find anyone out there, anyone out there, any newsletter out there, anyone that evangelizes crypto that tells you that Bitcoin is private, run for your lives. Because that person does not know what they're talking about and is literally opening themselves up to being the reason why someone could really get hurt in their life. This is not time, this is not a time to play games with people's lives. This is not, you know, when you, you for people that really desire privacy, you have to go with the best and fuck the rest. People bring up Mimbo Wimbo. Guys, at the Crypto Vigilante, think about it this way. If I was a nutrition, your nutritional coach, I won't tell you to settle for McDonald's. It's still food, but that's what Mimbo Wimbo is to me when it comes to privacy. Don't fucking touch that. Anything that is not the best, fuck, put it aside. Because you're talking about your survival. Privacy coins are not a place to hedge a bet or play the market. No, privacy coins are necessary to survive any type of tyrannical event. And as we're seeing, these tyrannical events are just, they're just exploding all over the world. So with privacy coins, guys, you don't want to fuck around. And you if, you, if someone needs a privacy coin, because some people don't, and that's okay. But for those that do need privacy coins, you need to use the best. And, and by that, I don't mean just the technology. I'm talking about the network itself. When you buy into a cryptocurrency, you're not just buying a technology. You are also buying into the most important aspect of the cryptocurrency. And that is the network of co contributors and investors that safeguard and protect and review constantly the health of that network. Monero has the most sophisticated and long-standing network of contributors when it comes to privacy coins. So Monero as a technology is most trusted because it's older technology that has been vetted and peer reviewed for a far longer time and by bigger group of, of peers than anything else in the market when it comes to privacy coins. Pirate Chain is state of the art cryptography that is very new using zero knowledge proofs at the protocol level by default. So yes, it is new, and, but it's, it has been peer reviewed, but since it is new, it is uh, state of the art, and it has been peer reviewed, but not as much as Monero. So why not use both? I had someone during an Arcapulco come up to me and say, well, wouldn't it be great if, if there was a cryptocurrency that used both Monero and pirate chain technology at the same time? Well, it's very simple. The answer to that is, why not use both? If you're in that need, in that big of a need for privacy in your life, why not use both and layer them on top of one another? Exchange back and forth between them. Crypto is here to stay, guys. And it's important for everyone to truly be educated because the situation in the world is only gonna get more intense. 
I don't think it's going to get softer or I don't think these tyrants are going to stop being tyrannical. If anything, I, I personally think that the reason why the tyranny ramped up with the pandemic and now with war is because of cryptocurrency itself. Ron Paul told us that the century of central banking was also the century of total war and that it, that was not a coincidence. And by total war, it mean, that means it's, it's a term that refers to blowing up civilians, including civilians, right? Like they're doing in Ukraine right now, like they've done in Syria and all over the world. These are bankster wars, guys. These countries are not fighting each other. These are banksters going out and, and enslaving their populations even more by having their bitch governments become more in debt to these central banks. You guys know by now that I don't like BTC. I don't. I call it the Bitcoin of the establishment because it preyed on honest libertarians under the pretense of it being a privacy coin and under the pretense of it changing the protocol of Bitcoin in order to be decentralized. But in reality, all they did was impose themselves as central planners that tinker and control the protocol. The best we can do, guys, is educate each other. And that's why we're opening ourselves up even more at the Crypto Vigilante in our offering. And we have some surprises for everyone because crypto's moving so fast that I think you guys deserve more, more. And if we can give more, if we, and I know a wise man once said, if you can carry more, carry more. And not, you know, like the whole team does this because of passion, because we love crypto. And we feel that we need to, that we we want to step up even more in our offering in our education to you guys. So we will be making announcements soon, but for now, go to cryptovigilante.io forward slash convoy and teach everyone about how to properly use crypto in these times of tyranny. Till next time, guys. Peace, love, anarchy. Bye. You know, I have to say, I think cryptocurrency and Bitcoin mining provide enormous opportunities. Uh, they are creating vast amounts of wealth. They are creating a hedge for people against inflation. Inflation is a growing concern across the country. Uh, they are creating entrepreneurs in all 50 states. Uh, I'm also particularly proud that my home state of Texas is becoming an oasis uh, for the blockchain community, for Bitcoin miners, for innovators and entrepreneurs in the crypto world. Unfortunately, the one thing that is capable of screwing all of this up uh, is the United States Congress. And I have deep concerns that Congress is already in the process of doing so. <laughs>